Brewers host the Yankees, and the Yankees are minus 142. On the money line, the Brewers are plus 120. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 112, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 134, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. They played each other today, and the Brewers literally just won a few minutes ago, seven to six in extra innings. Head to head, the Brewers are seven and three. The home team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The underdog is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been three one run games in their last 10, the last two that they played against each other. The over is six and four, and the over eight and a half runs is six and four. The Yankees are. Five and five in their last ten. And the over under is five and five in their last ten. They're two and two in their last four. They've lost their last two. Seven runs, ten runs, four runs, and then thirteen runs today. Four runs in a loss, seven runs in a four runs in a win, seven runs in a win, one run in a loss, and then six runs in a loss today. For the Brewers, they are seven and three in their last ten. They're on a three-game winning streak. They are three and one in their last four. The over has hit in their last two, and the over uh, the under is six and four in their last ten. Three runs, five runs, twelve runs, and then thirteen runs. One run and a loss. Three runs and a win. Seven runs and a win, and then seven runs and a win again today. I trust Radon a little bit more, so I'm going to take the Yankees in tomorrow's game. Yankees with the money line. Brewers getting the runs. I do think this will be a close game, and I'm going to go over. These are. Actually, you know what? I'm going to lean under unless the bullpen screws something up after Radon comes out. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.